you just two examples to give you an idea of why feet are like they are when you punch. So if you're a hip puncher, if you're someone who likes to snap those hips and drive, the only way you can do that is to bring your hips back far enough where you can drive the hips through because you need space to drive the hip. If you're trying to drive that hip in a very short space, it's very hard to actually do it. So when you watch people who do this, you'll notice their feet are a little wider and they're a little longer. And that's okay because you need this to hit properly. If you're a wave puncher, it's the opposite. So what happens is, is like you have these infinity signs in your hips, right, like this. And when you're throwing stuff like this, you need this hip to crack back to create the snap. If your feet get out too far, like this, it is very hard to create that snap. So, the closer your feet are spaced like this, the more crack you have on it. Because you have that little infinity sign. This is why I'm always amused by this. So, I, I've take, I took karate for a very long time. And what you'll find is you'll have two stances in karate a lot of times. And they contradict each other. So you have longer front leaning stances, like this. And you have side chin, like this. Like I think most styles have something like this. This works fine if you're going to generate hip blow. The farther your leg back, the more hip force you have to use. But when you go into side chin, the only way to really generate force from there is to make these figure eights with these snaps. So if you're like this and you're snapping the blowout, then you have power. But the majority of karate people don't really learn wave or figure eight. So what they do is they try and take this hard hip blow and transfer it into this. And so they just try to snap it harder so they can try and snap that so they can get more power. But you can't do it. It's, it's not designed that way. The majority of people I've ever met take karate only know one way to hit. They don't know how to hit with circles the way it was supposed to be done in the first place. So you have to be very particular where your feet are. If you're going to be a pop guy, like this, and drive those hips, make sure you have good spacing. Otherwise, there's no power on it. If you're an inside fighter and you have a lot of this wave type motion, your feet have got to be a little tighter together so you can get this crack. If you mix them up, it destroys the power on your flow, and it really doesn't help you out. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave comments. Feel free to share. It helps the channel grow.